the unstoppable that's my top flesh golem and most violent player as you can see Kakin the furry who is now dead poor little doggy anyway he had 30 uh, three casualties to his name which was awesome sadly well he's dead now so I just have to turn the page and try to build up his his replacement anyway as you can see I kept my team value rather low by not focusing too much on rerolls or players I only have 14 out of 16 players and usually when I lose someone to a, a really bad injury or death I replace them but I am pretty happy with 14 players so it keeps my team value a bit lower and there's another uh, benefit to this when you the, le the less player you have in your team the higher the chance a player will be chosen randomly uh, for the MVP award so this really helps anyway so this is my team and today's match is against Amazons and let's see I have 2230 value and they have 2280 that's nice I'm not going to spend any money on this but I do have 50,000 which is enough to get one blood uh, wiser babe and those can always be uh, useful for you the only problem and I see with the, the uh, the, the computer is that often he will not use all his inducement money uh, let's say that he has 80,000 well that's not enough to buy anything except hire a blood wiser babe and the AI just doesn't do it and that sucks anyway perhaps someone uh, who knows how to program uh, in their company will uh, correct that mistake eventually so the Amazon All-Stars are facing the Crazed Ones and well I don't want to say I'm going to win because that usually jinxes it but I should do well at least uh, often when the opposition scores it's through a really strange series of events or it's when I take some stupid risk at the wrong time so today's match will be on the orc pitch so well I didn't win the coin toss so I'll be on defense what I usually do with this team is put one white and one goal on the side two zombies a little bit behind and in the center to protect uh, defensively and uh, yeah I'll just get my uh, there he is put my zombie there yeah and I'll put the durable zombie up front and let's see yeah this way so this is my basic defense against teams that are not really uh, fast uh, sometimes I can just put them one tile back uh, if I'm facing uh, uh, an elven team or skavens and I would do the same thing with the werewolves this way it gives my uh, my slower players some leeway to attack the the players that get past the defensive line anyway let's do the kickoff pouring rain so it's a bit more difficult to catch intercept or pick up the ball and this can really help me since the Amazons only have three uh, agility in general 
But this is not true for this one, since she got an agility level up. And she got a ball without any trouble. Now, let's see. Oh, her blitzer has four strength. This is a problem. Which means, next turn, I'll send my werewolf, who has frenzy, of course, like all, all werewolves, and just push the bitch out. Oh, sorry, perhaps I shouldn't have said bitch, but anyway. And this is the kind of thing that a normal player just would not do. A three-strength player attacking a six-strength player alone. So that's stupid. So if you were to do something like that, you really, really need to cross your fingers because you know, the chances you'll succeed are extremely low. So I'll send this zombie right here, and my big bad wolf will be coming to blitz. In this case, you know, I could get the block and get a chance to injure. However, I'm tempted to push so that I can get her out of my way right away. So, she'll be back after the, uh, the touchdown or the half arrives, but still, it's pretty good. She has one four agility two block and side step. Uh, let's see. Reroll and defender down. Stun. That's good. I'll send him here and I'll send him here. This way, the catcher will have a lot of trouble catching the ball if the, the thrower throws it her way. And even if she catches it, it'll be a bit difficult to get out of my tackle zones. Anyway, end of the first turn. Now the blitzer comes right here. This blitzer might blitz or... Yeah. No, she's going, she's going to try to score right away or not well she's in trouble because I have several players in the area and this way ah, well the catcher did get through I don't like that so I will get my ghoul here my white here this way if I only get a push at least I can push yeah I can push her right here and my werewolf will finish the job there we go about time and she's stunned which is good and the blitzer Okay. Yeah, that's good. And my flesh golem will focus on the lineman. Sadly, only pushed. Still, good enough. Uh, my way will go back in the action. Flesh golem will attack. Uh, yeah, I'll send the zombie right here, the ghoul right here, and the werewolf. Huh, this is a tough one. I'll send it here. Uh, yeah. At least these two girls were down, so unless they start uh, jumping up and running all over the field, 
they should only get up. And this enables my players to attack once again. It's always better when you have a, a bashy sort of team to focus on getting as many blocks as possible on your turn. Because, let's face it, one blitz is not a lot. So, you know, you could only attack one person if you're not in anyone's tackle zone. And this sucks. So, uh, I'll send it right here. 